I thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to speak. And today is my day and today is our day. Today is the day of girls. And we speak of our rights. We speak that there should be equality, there should be equal rights for both boys and girls. Education must be compulsory in every country, especially in developing countries, for every child. And I think that the governments and all other organizations must focus on the education. Because I believe that education finds solution to all the issues that children are facing. We need to speak and we need to fight, but through books, through pens, and through our voice. It's now a really great honor to give my advice to the World Bank. And it's really good to hear that World Bank is doing a lot. But still, I want all the organizations to focus on education because education is very important. If you educate a child, it does not only mean that you educate him. You also find a solution for poverty, for the child labor, for child trafficking, as well as you, you, you bring a change in their mindset. Because the people who are the terrorists, who are uh, who 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 just uh, think like terrorists, I think someone has changed their mindset. So now we must change the mindset of the new generation. We must tell them about the whole world. We must tell them about peace, and we must tell them about tolerance. I think education is necessary. So if the organization, especially World Bank, focus on education and give top priority and make it its top priority, I think that would be a great idea. The relationship of poverty to education is very simple. The same, the, a family is suffering from poverty. They don't have money. Then they send their children for labor. Then the children have to earn. So it means the children are suffering from child labor. They cannot go to school. So now education and poverty are related. If we help families to get their income, I think income is very necessary for families. And the best way is to help those families. So then they don't need to send their children for labor and to work all the day and to miss their school. And I think poverty is a really important uh, thing that we must fight. I want to congratulate you to the Zakharov Prize you got yesterday from the European Union. It's a very prestigious human rights prize. And you were that close this morning <laughs> to the Nobel Peace Prize. And congratulations for being shortlisted and being that close. Every prize uh, is important for me and every award is important for me because it supports my campaign for girls' education. And then the greatest thing for Nobel Peace Prize that I have, that I have seen is that people nominated me. The people of Swa, the people of Pakistan raised their voice. They raised the banners of I am Malala. They supported me. People from all over the world, they said that Malala deserve it. In my opinion, I don't deserve it. But still, when I look at the love of people, when I look at the prayers of people, when I look at the support of people, that is such a great honor for me. And I think if I get the Nobel Peace Prize or not, it was not a great uh, issue for me. But the thing that made me really and extremely happy was to see that people nominated me. And the love of people is the greatest thing in my life. Now I can reach people. Now I can reach people. What do you enjoy in your life other than being here and talking on behalf of so many other children out there? I hardly find time now to enjoy, but still, uh, when I go home, I take interest in doing my homework. Uh, I don't like TV now, but I used to watch TV a lot when I was in Pakistan. And then the other greatest thing is to fight with brothers because they fight with me. I don't fight with them. So <laughs> that's true. And they are uh, like extremely naughty. And uh, people outside, uh, like the home, outside our house, they respect me, they take care of me, they support me. But inside, the world is totally different. <laughs> and as well as uh, my brother, we both had a fight. And my brother was telling me, oh, Malala, you forgive that Talib. Why are you not forgiving me? And <laughs> so it happens in our house daily. It's a part of like. Uh, it's a routine, so, uh, but still, I'm really happy that uh, people are supporting me in my cause of education. So if I just do not watch a television show, if I don't play cricket in the ground for a while, I think that's fine because I have a great goal, and for that, I need to uh, leave something behind. So 
it's fine.